Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the Octobers, and today apparently we're checking out the Ant Man. So I have no idea what this movie's about to be about. I said it before in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy reaction, but baby, you want to tell us something about this movie? Yeah. It came out in 2015 and was directed by Peyton Reed. I love Paul Rudd as an actor, so I'm so excited to get into this. Okay, guys, you already know the script, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help a small channel like ourselves. Oh, uh, yeah. Ant Man, I'm ready to go. Let's, Let's go. go. 1989. Here I was born. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Stark. He doesn't seem happy. You're supposed to be in Moscow. I took a detour through your defense lab. Tell me that is Hey. Oh, well, there's Peggy Carter right there. The Pym particle is the most revolutionary science ever developed. Help us put it to good use. That you turn me into your errand boy, and now you try to steal my research. If only you'd protected Janet with such ferocity, Dr. Pym. Ooh, oh, well. <laughs> that man shut his eyes. You see that? Mm -hmm. Oh. You mention my wife again, and I'll show you ferocity. Oof. Don't look at me. You said it. <laughs> Pym particle is a miracle. Please don't let your past determine the future. As long as I am alive, nobody will ever get that formula. Oh. Doesn't he remind you of the soldier from uh, the Hulk? Yes. He does, doesn't he? He gives me the, the same guy vibe. said, like a monster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to find out what it's like when you can't see him coming? That's Stark right there. There's no security risk unless we make him one. Ooh. And he just pieced that guy up. <laughs> I'm loving it. Let's pop this off. Uh. <laughs> That's what I like about Marvel. Like, you just don't know what you're getting, dude. Yeah, like, ever. <laughs> a lot of you guys say you're jealous because you wish you could relive it the first time, and I get it. <laughs> Me too. I'm like a convict. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even move. <laughs> well, what if I come in on the left side, right? Just down here, you see this right there? <laughs> you might want to try the elbow, because... <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Scott. I'm gonna miss you too, Peachy. <laughs> what? Man, you guys got the weirdest goodbye rituals. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even get it. <laughs> what is this movie? Why is he in jail? <laughs> <laughs> Still going away, press. Oh yeah, I still got my scar from a year ago. <laughs> still the only one to knock him out. I definitely did. <laughs> hey, how's your girl, man? Oh, uh, she left me. <laughs> yeah, my mom died too. Oh. And my dad got deported. <laughs> dude, it just keeps getting man. worse. There you go. <laughs> but I got the man. That poor dude, man. And I gotta introduce you to some people, some really skilled people. Not interested. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious, man. I'm not going back. I got a daughter to take care of. That's right. Look, man, I got a master's in electrical engineering, all right? A master's in electrical engineering. Working at Baston Robbins. <laughs> oh, so no. Try our mango fruit blast. I'll have a burger, please. Oh, we don't we don't make that. It's ice cream. Baston <laughs> Robbins. <laughs> what do you think, Dale? Take care of this idiot. Thanks. <laughs> Come on in, pull up some chair. <laughs> Three years at San Quentin, huh? You found out. Baskin Robbins always finds out. <laughs> Breaking and entering, grand larceny. I just try respect. I couldn't be happier about it. Really? <laughs> yeah. If I'm like, wow, I know this guy. I'm in charge of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're fired, of course. I mean, uh, <laughs> can't really keep you on. Wait, what? <laughs> If you want to grab one of those uh, mango fruit blasts on your way out the door, I'll just pretend I didn't see it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I just took one, one too. 100% I'm taking one. <laughs> this one's goofy. In the last movie I saw Paul Rudd in, he was in the same situation. He was like a convict, kind of like. Oh, got fired. This is called our idiot brother. Hey, Scotty, what's up? I thought you were supposed to be at work. I was. I got fired. Damn, they find out who you are? Baskin Robbins always finds out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's T.I. There's T.I. right there. Oh, that's Kurt. He was Folsom for five years. He's a wizard on that laptop. <laughs> who are you? Dave. Nice work on the Vista job. No, no, I have heard of this robbery. I hate violence. I burgled them. I'm a cat burglar. You mean you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he blows the whistle and he gets fired and what does he do he hacks into the security system transfers millions back to the people that they stole it from so he's like a robin hood <laughs> what are you doing why are you telling my life story to these guys what do you want my cousin talked to this guy two weeks ago about this little perfect job no way this guy this guy fits your mo no i'm finished man it's some retired millionaire living off his golden parachute it's a perfect scott lang mark i'm out 
Dang. But you know he's not out, though. They're no, never out. A, they're about to talk him into it. Him. We've seen that. Dr. Pym? I'm still alive. <laughs> I do. Perhaps that will suffice. I'm very sorry, sir. Please come in. <laughs> Is that Hank Pym? Not a good guy. You see him? <laughs> not look happy to see him. Would he kill you to call me dad? There's Kate. From Lost. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised to receive any kind of invitation from you, Darren. What's the occasion? Oh, you'll see. We're ready for you inside. Baby, am I tripping or was she not the Hope's girlfriend? No, she wasn't. Who was that? Some other lady. That was a different lady, wasn't it? They just she was the, the lady on right, yeah. Lord of the Rings. The elf, yep. But she is familiar. Boy, it's all coming together, boy. How's your face? <laughs> After you. Now, before we start, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. This company's founder and my mentor, Dr. Hank Pym. Hmm. I don't know what to think about any of this. When I took over this company for Dr. Pym, I immediately started researching a particle that could change the distance between atoms while increasing density and strength. Why this revolutionary idea remained buried beneath the dust and cobwebs of Hank's research, I couldn't tell you. But just imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate secret weapon. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> them highlights though so. oh what was that top 10 video that's what they called you right hank <laughs> oh that was him will you tell our guests what you told me every single time i asked you was the ant-man real just a tall tale because how could anything so miraculous possibly be real what kind of presentation was that, though? I know they left all the little scientists like <laughs> on a cliffhanger, bro. That's all they're privy to hear. <laughs> I thought, could it be possible to shrink a person? Could that be done? It's not a legend anymore. I am proud to present the end of warfare as we know. The Yellow Jacket. Okay. The Yellow Jacket is an all-purpose weapon of war, capable of altering the size of the wearer for the ultimate combat advantage. We live in an era in which the weapons we use to protect ourselves are undermined by constant surveillance. It's time to return to a simpler age. What mm -hmm. in the... <laughs> an all-purpose peacekeeping vessel, the Yellow Jacket, can manage any conflict on the geopolitical landscape completely unseen. So that man can go assassinate your prime minister, your president. No one would even know. He could literally be a fly on the wall in any conversation. Absolutely. A single yellow jacket offers the user unlimited influence to carry out protective action. Oh my god. An army of yellow jackets will create a sustainable environment of well-being around the oh world. So it's a suit. Wow. It's not a suit, it's a it's a vessel. What's the matter? You're not impressed? Oh, I'm impressed. I'm also concerned. We should have a longer conversation about that, Frank. I really value your opinion. He needs to oversee his company better. Thank you very much, everybody. You seem a bit shocked. And there's a reason that I buried these secrets. So you finally admit it. <laughs> we could have done this together, Hank, but you ruined that. That's why you're the past and I'm the future. Don't do this. Dr. Cross. You sell to me first. 20% of your asking price. I can have the cash here in two weeks. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> quick, that was quick. Golly. We have to make our move, Hank. How close is he? He still can't shrink a live subject. Just give me the suit and let me finish this once and for all. It's too dangerous. We don't have a choice. Well, it's not entirely true. I think I found a guy. Like a useful idiot? <laughs> Why this guy, though? <laughs> Peanuts! Peanuts. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm late. I didn't know what time your party started. He didn't get an invitation, but he came anyway. <laughs> I need to go tell mommy you're here. Oh, you don't. What are you doing here, Hank? Good to see you too, Paxton. Mommy's so happy you're here. She choked on her drink. <laughs> <laughs> Can I open it now? Of course, sweetheart. It's your birthday. Oh my god. What is that thing? He's so ugly. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh, you were my best friend. <laughs> This is hard finding a job when you have a rent. I'm sure you'll figure it out. But for now, I want you out of my no, house, wait. okay? It's my daughter's birthday. It's, it's my, my house. So what? what? It's my kid. You can't just show up here. It's my daughter. You know right. the first thing about being a father. Maggie, your fiance is an asshat. <laughs> really? Maggie? That guy? Come on, you can marry anyone you want. You have to get engaged to a cop? At least he's not a crook. I'm trying, 
okay? I've changed. I'm, I'm straight. I've tr I had a job. And <laughs> get an apartment. Get a job. Pay child support. And then we will talk about visitation. I promise. You're her hero, Scott. Be the person that she already thinks you are. <laughs> I mean, I know he's already messed up. No excuse for it. But, bro, he got fired just for, like, being who he is. <laughs> you know? like He's doing his best. Yeah, he's doing his best. <laughs> I'm sorry you have such deep concerns about the yellow jacket, Frank. Unfortunately, we can't just do whatever we want. Be nice, though, right? <laughs> but there are laws. What laws? A man? <laughs> like a thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> Understand? Never mind. Ooh. We still haven't worked out all the bugs. Ugh. What? Goodbye, Frank. He just flush your boy down the toilet. I'm not trying to like say anything, but what's up with Marvel always wanting all these people with bald heads to be the bad guy? You notice that? Oh no. Baby, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. You know, I've been thinking a lot about gratitude lately. <laughs> gratitude can be forgiveness. I've spent years carrying around my anger for Hank Pym. I devoted my genius to him. Could have worked anywhere. I chose my mentor poorly. You didn't even have a choice. He never believed in you. It's a shame what we had to do, but he forced us to do it, didn't he? But we shouldn't be angry, we should be grateful because his failures as a mentor, as a father, forced us to spread our wings. You're a success, Darren. You deserve everything coming your way. <laughs> I'm just like confused about all that. Like, who is this dude? So Darren's obviously infiltrated and is basically running and taking over that company. And he's going rogue. <laughs> hey, what's up, Hotshot? How's the party? Want to know about that tip? Oh, baby, time! Hot dogs. It's so on right now. Calm pill. down, all right? I just need to know where it came from. I was at a wine tasting with my cousin Ernesto. <laughs> and he told me about this girl, Emily, that we used to kick it with. It was actually the first pair of boobs that I ever touched. It has nothing to do with the story. <laughs> he tells me that she's working as a housekeeper now, right? And she's dating this dude, Carlos, who's a shot caller. And she tells him about the dude that she's cleaning for, right? That he's like this big shot CEO. And so Carlos and Ernesto are on the same softball team and they get to talking, right? <laughs> this guy's got a big ass safe just sitting in the basement, just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> their, their name was Third Strikes. <laughs> and whatever's in it, it's got to be good. What? <laughs> That's all I needed? Because I, I, need. I would need a lot more than that. Why the heck is T.I. in this movie? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Landline's cut, cell signal's jammed. No one will be making for a distress call tonight. Hey, if the job goes bad, you know I got your back, right? Don't worry. It's not going to happen. Okay, so I'm guessing he's probably going to get caught, locked up, and they're going to give him a deal. <laughs> Go to prison or... Be the Ant-Man. Be the Ant-Man. Dang. Damn. He's the skillful one. Yeah, he's got the base for it, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. Bro, you ain't no parkour, dude. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> oh, he's got 19 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, I was scared for some reason. There's a fingerprint lock on the door. Oh man, are we screwed? Not necessarily. You gotta go find a fingerprint, but you need some tape or something, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, that's about as far as I know how to get. Me too. Nice. If this works, he's like convict of the year. Whoa. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a carbon deal. Made from the same steel as the Titanic. Wow. Can you crack it? <laughs> Doesn't do so well in the cold. Remember what that iceberg did? Yeah, man, it killed the Caprio. Killed everybody. I mean, not to kill the old lady. She still throw the jewel into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like ready to see where this is about to go. This movie, like, I have no idea how it's gonna go from this. Yeah, I have no idea what's about to be over here for real. What? No, in this movie, it's probably about to be something really goofy, <laughs> like a stuffed animal or something. What are you doing? I poured water in the locking mechanism and froze it with nitrogen. Ice expands, metal doesn't. Woo. Nice. Oh, I have so much anxiety. What is it? Cash? Jewels? 
There's nothing here. What'd you say? It's a suit. Oh, so he's in that old man's house. Okay. It's all making sense now. It's a bust. I'm really sorry, Scotty. I know you needed a score. Baby, remember he said, I think I found the guy? He knew that this guy would steal it. That's why everyone was talking. He leaked the information, probably. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Knowing that useful idiot would go find the suit. See, he's sitting there monitoring the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. A trick theft. Boy, I know I'm slow, y'all, but I caught that one. It's so cute. What in the sheep? Commence experiment 34C, organic atomic reduction. Darren, maybe we should think. Shrinking organic tissue is the centerpiece of this technology. I can't go to the buyers with half a breakthrough. Oh, a little baby. Oh my god. Boy, they turned that man into smuckers, didn't they? Sanitize the workstation, bring in subject 35C. That's terrible. That man just works around the clock, don't he? Why would you lock this up? Yeah, if I saw that in a basement with all those logs, I don't know that I would take that. <laughs> Might be a little gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Ooh, yeah, that's real kinky. I wouldn't touch that. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh. How? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That just made me so nervous. That'd be cool, dude. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. Who said that? I would shrink my car. It's a trial oh my by gosh. fire, Scott. This case, water. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's stressing me out. Oh my god. Ah. Mm. Ah. 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 Oh my goodness. Dang, he broke a tile on the floor? He's pretty tough. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's about to run into some bugs or something. What in the world? <laughs> that right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> oh sh Oh my gosh. They live they live on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> A vacuum cleaner. Oh my gosh. Mm. Ew. Like is it that hard to be that small? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'll be in touch. <laughs> He's like, I never want to do that again. He's about to go put it back. <laughs> Heck no. No, I didn't steal anything. I was returning something I stole. Okay, so I was right. He did get arrested. They were really rooting for you. It's gonna break their hearts. I bet. You got a visitor. I bet you care so much. Your lawyer. My lawyer. I told you I'd be in touch, Scott. I'm starting to think that you prefer the inside of a jail cell. Sit down. Ew, that's weird. I'm sorry I stole the suit. I don't even want to know why you have it. <laughs> Maggie was right about you. How do you know? The way well, she's trying to keep you away from Cassie. The moment things get hard, you turn right back to crying. You can either spend the rest of your life in prison or go back to your cell and await further instructions. I don't understand. No, I don't expect you to. Why do you think I let you steal that suit in the first place? What? <laughs> Second chances don't come around all that much. So the next time you think you might see one, I suggest you take a real close look at it. <laughs> okay, so he's got little bugs that do his bidding for him like that. Like they covered up the camera. So obviously the bugs have been spying on him. Some grown up say he's back. Daddy just gets confused sometimes, you know? Oh. I know, to that little girl, like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Why put that on so fast? <laughs> you wouldn't want to be small? Yeah. Oh, they're counting down for me, but I hurry up. <laughs> I said, let's go. I'll be in, man. Let's go. Dude, this is kind of sick. Those are like little nanobots or something. 
That was crazy. He actually listened for once. <laughs> this man's like giving him the ultimate training. That would scare the mess out of me, bro. I'm like, I'm in charge of you guys. Set up a five block perimeter now. <laughs> These are my associates. Huh? Is that a camera on an ant? Yeah, sure. Why not? Incoming. <laughs> That's fire. It's like a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is this, y'all? Why am I on a police car? Shouldn't I not be on a police car? So they can give you a lift past their five block perimeter. <laughs> <laughs> Yank up to go up. It's like a horse. Hang on tight. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. I'm controlling 247. He is not listening to you. Stop 247. Time out. Time out. All right, hold on. Oh. What happens if I throw up in this helmet? Let's set her down, all right? Again, I get a little light. Just, I need to snooze, but hit me in five minutes. Oh, we fell off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't blame him. We got to train for that. He's like, hey, Freckles. No, hey, Freckles. <laughs> Have you been standing there watching me sleep this whole time? Yes. Why? Because the last time you were here, you stole something. Whoa. Whoa. Paraponera clavata. Giant tropical bullet ants ranked highest on the Schmidt Pain Index. They're here to keep an eye on you, and I can't. Dr. Pym's waiting for you downstairs. <laughs> Whose pajamas are these? Yeah, imagine being held hostage by ants. Robotic ants. Do you just step on them or what? Oh, okay. Me. I don't step on you. I don't need this guy. I assume that you've already met my daughter, Hope. She doesn't think that we need you. We don't. I go to all this effort to let you steal my suit, and then Hope has you arrested. She's a little bit anxious. It has to do with his job. What job? I was very impressed with how you managed to get past my security system. The reason that medal was particularly clever. Were you watching me? Scott, I've been watching you for a while. Uh, ever since you robbed Vista Corp. Oh, excuse me, burgled Vista Corp. It was supposed to be unbeatable, but you beat it. <laughs> so creepy. Yeah, same vibe as me. <laughs> they just turned around. But how do you make them do that? Hands can lift objects 50 times their weight. But how do you make them do that? <laughs> I use electromagnetic waves to stimulate their olfactory nerve center. Whoa. I speak. To them i can go anywhere hear anything and see everything and still know absolutely nothing have you noticed there hasn't been one satisfied daughter in this whole series <laughs> who are you who is she what the hell's going on and can i go back to jail now <laughs> 20 years ago i created a formula that altered atomic relative distance i learned how to change the distance between atoms that's what powers the suit that's why it works wow Oh, insane. It was too dangerous. So I hid it from the world. And that's when I switched gears and I started my own company. Pentech. I took on a young protege called Darren Cross. He's a big deal. But before he was a big deal, he was my assistant. He was brilliant, but as we became close, he began to suspect that I wasn't telling him everything. He had rumors about what was called the Pym Particle. He became obsessed with recreating my formula. So he conspired against me and he voted me out of my own company. The process is highly volatile. It can affect the brain's chemistry. I don't think Darren realizes this. So what do you want from me? If you can help me, I promise I can help you be with your daughter again. Now, are you ready to redeem yourself? Absolutely. My days of breaking into places and stealing shit are done. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I want you to break into a place and steal some shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Good news? Uh, I don't know. It's news. Are you trying to find my daddy? Uh, yeah, I am, sweetheart. Hope you don't catch him. Oh. He's so rude. She's like, I like my ghost big. Thank you. This isn't the first time these guys have tried to get their hands on game-changing weaponry. That's Mitchell Carson, ex-head of defense at S.H.I.E.L.D., presently in the business of toppling governments. We always wanted my tech. Now, unless we break in and steal the Yellow Jacket and destroy all the data, Darren Cross 
is going to unleash chaos. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> I spent half my life trying to keep this technology out of the hands of the Stark. This is not some cute technology like the Iron Man suit. <laughs> this could change the texture of reality. Besides, they're probably too busy dropping cities. <laughs> okay, then why don't you just send the ants? I love that they did that for people like me. Because I'm always like, why don't they just call the Avengers? <laughs> Hank, I'm a thief, right? I mean, I'm a good thief. This is insane. He's right, Hank, and you know it. I'm wearing the suit. Absolutely not. I know the facility inside and out. I know how Cross thinks. I know this mission better than anybody We here. need you close to Cross. Otherwise, this mission cannot work. We don't have time to screw oh, around. Please. He is Listen a criminal. Me, please. I'm Ab your daughter. No! Mm. <sighs> they just communicated. She's like, you see what I deal with? Mm -hmm. What's to be honest, she's just bad news and loss. If you if you know, you know. I'm not your guy. Why don't you wear the suit? I can't. Spend years wearing it. It took a toll on me. You're our only option. Before Hope lost her mother, she used to look at me like I was the greatest man in the world. And now she looks at me and it's, it's just disappointment. It's too late for me, but not for you. This is your chance. A chance to earn. That look in your daughter's eyes. It's not about saving our world. It's about saving theirs. Damn, that was a good speech. That's exactly yeah. what I was about to yes. say. I need you to be the Ant Man. Well, let's go. Yes. <laughs> okay, we gotta say Ant Man now. That's what's up. <clears throat> the suit has power. The man harnesses that power. You need to be skillful, agile, and above all, you need to be fast. Now dive through the keyhole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not impressed. Like a bullet. You punch too hard, you kill someone too soft, it's a love tap. I was in prison for three years, I don't know how to punch. Show me. Terrible. You wanna show me how to punch? Show me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you punch. Hope trained in martial arts at a uh, difficult time. Oh, by difficult time, he means when my mother died. We lost her in a plane crash. Please stop telling me that lie. We're working here. Oh, so he's lying something deep, huh? I think this regulator is holding Do me back. not screw with the regulator <laughs> that regulator is compromised you would go subatomic what does that mean it means that you would enter a quantum realm what does that mean it means that you would enter a reality where all concepts of time and space become irrelevant as you shrink for all eternity gone forever cool yeah mm -hmm. that'd be so dope if he could go to the quantum level Paratrachina longicornis, commonly known as crazy ants. They're lightning fast and can conduct electricity, which makes them useful to fry out enemy electronics. Hey! <laughs> Aww. Oh my, I love you. <laughs> that was a lot scarier a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a security guard posted around the clock. We'll need you to take him out to deactivate the security systems. Okay. Who's next? Parapanera clavata. I know. Bullet ants, right? The one on the Schmidt pain index? <laughs> <laughs> the tube is protected by a laser grid, and we can only power that down for 15 seconds. You're going to need to signal the crazy ants to blow the servers, retrieve the suit, and next to the vaults before the backup power comes on. Caponotus pennsylvanicus. Alternatively known as a carpenter ant. Ideal for ground and air transport. I'm going to call an ant to me. You. Tell them to put the sugar in the teacup. Oh, you okay? Did I hurt you? <laughs> oh my god. Hank wants you outside for target practice. The suit has no weapons, so I made you these discs. Red shrinks, blue and large. Wow. Oh, whoa. Solenopsis mandibularis. Known for their bite, the fire ants have evolved into remarkable architects. They are handy to get you in and out of difficult places. Well, the ants are gonna help them. You can do it, Scott. Come on. This is crazy, dude. They're not listening to me. We don't have time for coddling. Our focus should be on helping Scott. Really? Is that where our focus should be? He just don't want to lose her, right? I guess. And she's all emotional about mm -hmm. it. Does she think she can definitely handle the job? Oh, I can. Oh, look. Hope! I don't know why I came to you in the first place. Snarky, bro. <laughs> we can't do this without her. Oh, God. <laughs> do you have any idea what he's asking you to risk? You have a daughter. You know, I thought with all that's at stake, just maybe we might have a chance of making peace. But even now, he still wants to shut me up. He trusts you. Then why are you here? I 
proves that he loves you. I'm expendable. That's why I'm here. You mm -hmm. must have realized that by now. He'd rather lose this fight than lose you. You have to clear your mind, Scott. You have to make your thoughts precise. That's how it works. Think about Cassie. About how badly you want to see her. Open your eyes and just think about what you want the ends to do. Whoa. I'd be more concerned about the amount of ants coming out your dash right now. <laughs> wow. Your mother convinced me to let her join me on my missions. They called her the Wasp. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't regret having said yes. So she was a superhero. Separatists had hijacked a Soviet missile silo in Kursk and launched an ICBM at the United States. Oh my gosh. The only way to the internal mechanics was through solid titanium. Your mother, she didn't hesitate. Oh, she went quantum, huh? Disarmed it. She turned off her regulator and went subatomic to deactivate the bomb. Mm. She was gone. Boy, so she went out like a gangster for real, bro. And I spent the next 10 years trying to learn all I could about the quantum realm. You were trying to bring her back. But all I learned was we know nothing. Oh my. She made her choice. But why didn't you tell me that sooner? I was trying to protect you. I lost your mother. I didn't mean to lose you too. This is awesome. <laughs> I ruined the moment, didn't I? Yes, she did, yes. I'm gonna make some tea. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. I'm still trying to grasp the fact that we got an ant in the mix. I know. This is crazy. I'm loving this film though. I'm having a lot of fun watching yeah, it. This is fun. It's entertaining. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That'd be crazy to run with the ants, dude. I know. Let me know if you were a superhero, man, which one would you want to be? Not necessarily your favorite, but which one do you think it'd be the coolest to be? Right. This would be pretty cool. This would be scary. It's freezing. You could really appreciate nature if you could get that small. Mm. You must retrieve this prototype of a signal decoy. It's a device that I invented during my shield days. Currently collecting dust in one of Howard Stark's old storage facilities in upstate New York. Should be a piece of cake. Quadrant A, go! All right, Anthony, please don't drop me this time. <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> Didn't you say this was some old warehouse? You Avengers. son of a bitch! Scott, get out of there. Aboard. Oh, they done upgraded, huh? Anthony, get me to the roof. He's gonna lose his suit. He's gonna lose his life. All right, I'm on the roof of the target building. Somebody's home, Scott. Yo, it's the Falcon. Oh, it's the Falcon. <laughs> I have a sense of trip, but I'm not seeing anything. Aboard, Scott. Aboard now. It's okay. You can't see me. I can see you. He can see me. Hi. They look just alike, don't they? <laughs> what are you doing here? First off, I'm a big fan. Appreciate it. So who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Ant-Man. Ant-Man. What, you haven't heard of me? No, you wouldn't have heard of me. You want to tell me what you want? I was hoping <laughs> I could grab a piece of technology. Just for a few days, I'm going to return it. Save the world. You know how that is. <laughs> Located the breach. Bringing him in. Sorry about this. <laughs> Let's go. Breach is an adult male who has some sort of shrinking tech. <laughs> Sorry. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm watching Falcon fight Ant-Man right now. This is great. I know. I did not expect <laughs> this. Anthony, little help. I've lost visual. He's inside my pack. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's how you win right there. Good, sorry. You seem like a really great guy. <laughs> really important to me that Cap never finds out about this. <laughs> you jeopardized everything. Oh. Came through, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He got it. Well done. Hey, how about the fact that I fought an Avenger and didn't die? <laughs> Let's not dwell on the past. We gotta finish our planning. You did good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Garrett. 
How the hell did you get in here? Left the front door open, Hank. That ain't no invitation. That's a mistake. <laughs> well, to what do I owe this pleasure? The company you created is about to become one of the most profitable operations in the world. That's dope. Mm. You're welcome. This is my moment. I want you to see it. I'll be there. What did you say, Anne May? I know what you mean. All those years ago, you picked me. What did you say? I saw myself. Why did you push me away? Because I saw too much of myself. What if he saw me here? He didn't. There's no way. How do you know that? Darren, hi. Where are you right now? I'm at home. Why? I just saw Hank. Don't let him rile you up. He's just, he's just a senile old man. <laughs> Get the assembly line up and running. And I'm tripling security. Full sensors at all entrances. And exterior air vents fitted with steel micro mesh. Great. Good idea. He knows something, doesn't he? Yeah, there's no way. How are we going to get Scott inside? The water main. Oh my. Somebody would have to reach the building's control center to change the water pressure. So we expand our team. No, no, no. Not those three wombats. Thank you for the coffee, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> we just robbed you. <laughs> are you sure they can handle this? Oh, we can handle it. We're professionals. <laughs> but hey, everybody, just kick back and relax a little bit, man. We know our business. We broke into this spooky ass house, didn't we? I let you. One could say that I let you let me. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why do you jump up so fast? I know. Oh. <laughs> She's the work of gypsies. Yes, that's that's, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's like some David Copperfield shit. This is sorcery. How'd you do that, bro? Don't freak out. Look at your shoulder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, get off, get off, get off. I gave them each half a Xanax, and Hank explained the science of the suit to them. <laughs> you know, the honest truth is, I actually went from despising you to almost liking you. You, you really should write poetry. <laughs> Get some sleep, Scott. First name basis now. Oh, he's about to go Ant Man up in there. I know. It's very sweet, but it's kind of creepy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, because she just has no idea. No idea. Dave, wheels on the ground. Kurt, eyes in the sky. Luis. No, you know what? I get to wear a uniform. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just uh, excited. Plus, your girlfriend's really hot, so, you know, that makes me nervous, too. She's mm -hmm. not my... Hey, you know what? I was thinking of a tactic, like, when I go undercover, like, of whistling, you know what I'm saying, to, like, blend in. Don't whistle. No whistling. Mm -hmm. What? He is hilarious. All clear in sector one. Step out. <laughs> Dang, he gets a gun and everything. <laughs> <laughs> We're set. Wish me luck. Oh my, I just have no idea what we're getting into here. Dude, he's online. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, boss man said to secure the area. I'm the boss. Utilities 1.3. Oh yeah, because he said earlier in the movie he's got that knockout punch. <laughs> he slept. Okay, so now the water pressure is not so heavy so he can get in. Mm. Cowabunga, dude. What in the world? He's serpent ants. That's scary. Oh my god. Coming up on extraction pipe. All right, come on. I gotta get up there. That's it. That's it, guys. Whoa. That was insane. Wow. Right into the sink. Crazy. Oh my gosh. The ant man is in the building. Got a crown big right outside of here. This is a problem. Considering the Crown Vic's the most commonly used car for undercover cops, man. Yes, this is a problem. <laughs> it's Pim. <laughs> I'm deploying the bullet ants. Feel bad for this guy. Whoa. Ow. 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 <laughs> Signal decoy in place. Mean pretty lady did good, Scott. Looks like Pim's getting arrested. Dip! Dip, that's not part of the plan! Listen to me. If I don't get into this building, people will die. That's awfully dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Takes care of it, doesn't it? Well, huh. how do I look? There he is. Just in time. Come on. 12 point verification. A little over the top, don't you think, Darren? <laughs> no, you can never be too safe. Yeah, because they broke his lot with some basic kitchen items. Mm -hmm. Arriving at 
second position. Well, seating to command position. So they're just going in and basically destroying all the servers, huh? It looks like that. I'll be right back, Anthony. All right, guys, I'm in position. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 Let's fry these servers. Whoa. Wow. Let's go get him, buddy. Yeah! Ah! Servers are fried. Data backup completely erased. Heading to the particle chamber. I mean, dude, there you go. The battle's almost won now. Now you just got to destroy that suit, right? Mm -hmm. My associates have agreed to your terms. Wonderful. Mr. Carson introduced me to these fine gentlemen here, the representatives of Hydra. They're not what they were. They're not what they were. <laughs> I mean, I saw the punch coming a mile away, but I just figured it'd be all pathetic and weak. Well, you <laughs> figured wrong. I know this van. Anybody home? <laughs> so loud. <well. laughs> all right, guys, I'm here. This is insane. Setting the charges. That's crazy, bro. I never even, I forgot that they can make things bigger. I'll take it from here. Good boy, <laughs> Final position. Oh my god. How are we looking on that laser grid? Almost. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> San Francisco PD, out of the van. I know you're in there. He's trying his best. Ready to jump. Do you read Kurt? So close. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was a black guy that looked exactly like me who attacked us and put us in the back of this disgusting van. <laughs> Take it easy! Will not move! Go now! Oh my god. Wait! What? What do you mean, wait? <laughs> <laughs> that is stressful. Why ain't no telling what button I would have clicked? What? What? <laughs> this guy. Man, now he's trapped in there. I always suspected you had a suit stored away somewhere. Scott Lang. <laughs> took on the system and paid the price losing his family and his only daughter in the process exactly your kind of guy hank oh my and now he brings me the ant-man suit the only thing that can rival my creation darren don't do this if you sell to these men it's gonna be chaos i already have and for twice the price Mm. It's not easy to successfully infiltrate an Avengers facility. Thankfully, word travels fast. Oh, I'll sell them the yellow jacket, but I'm keeping the particle to myself. The timeline, because remember... If you want the fuel, you'll have to come to me. Yeah, this is part of what infiltrated the Avengers and why it got broken up, I think. You proud of me yet? You can stop this, Darren. Darren! It's the particles altering your brain chemistry. Wait, 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 wait. I have to be the one to do it. Oh no. Here we go. Drop your gun. Oh, you know, I came God. to the house the other night to kill him, but you were there. You're sick and I can help you. Just put the gun down. I wasn't ready to kill you then, but I think I am now. You picked the wrong side, Hope. Here we go. Oh, we took one. Whoa. Hey, no. Oh, that's a metal. Your brains out and peel it off. Let's go. Oh, the ants jammed the gun, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> we got a 1033 at Pim Tech. Request immediate backup. Go, go, go. <laughs> they just left them laying on the ground. <laughs> Like they're obviously part of what's like going on. They just leave them. I know. <laughs> I want to make sure the helicopter's ready to take off. Kill anything that comes out of that vault. We need to get him out of here. Go get that suit. Yes, ma'am. I know. You're like, basically. <laughs> Whoa. That's actually so crazy. He needs to be a superhero, doesn't he? Yes. Scotty. <laughs> Are we the good guys? Yeah, we're the good guys. <laughs> Feels kind of weird, you know? <laughs> Get out of here. 
before this place blows. He's hilarious. Find a way out of here and fast. Don't worry, I'm not gonna die, and neither are you. It's not a keychain. What is it? I'm not certain. Shots fired. Whoa. And there's a tank. And it works. Fully functional, baby. That's Let's crazy. go. Easy. A little help. We need a doctor. Bro, grab a fly swatter, not a gun. You ain't mm -hmm. shooting him. <laughs> oh, he did. He's accurate. Very accurate. No! You're gonna regret that. I can't look at What? <laughs> it's too loud to the tank. I can't hear you. <laughs> Those cops gotta get fired for sure. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that guy can hear him pretty good. Yeah, he carries a big voice for a little ant, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. So it's gone, gone. Yeah, I got him. I got him. There he is. Go, go, go. Oh my oh. God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so scary. Don't you just want it on your side? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna disintegrate you! Claim disintegration by the cure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be though for real. Really? We used to have one right here. We had to disable it. <laughs> we learned real quick. It was doing all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> Not at the cookout. Bop. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Please, put your hands up. Get them up. Scott, you have to listen to me. Oh no. Wow. Oh my god. Is that about to amp him up or something? I don't know. <laughs> There's something in that backyard that needs to be destroyed. <laughs> you need to desist right now. Your delusions are out of hand. All units, we have a 236 in progress at 840 Winter Street. Cassie! Oh, he's done. Went close to home now. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Don't be scared. How? I know. <laughs> don't move. It's not Cassie! 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 Oh, oh yeah, he's gone now. Are you a monster? Do I look like a monster? I want my daddy. I want your daddy too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kinda weird, bro. Daddy, is that you? Hi, Peanut. <laughs> Why don't you pick on someone your own size? <laughs> well girl, you better get up out that house. <laughs> Thomas the Choo Choo train about to get thrown all around that room. Ugh. <laughs> that'd be nasty, boy. I know. Not just me! <laughs> Seeing that as a little girl, like, could yeah. you imagine? What the heck? It was like a whole battle. <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> I told you he was about to throw Thomas. <laughs> Scotty needs us, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Back it up. Back it up. Yeah, just back it up. Yeah, just back it up. Yeah, no, no, no. Just back, just back it up. <laughs> Your very existence is insulting to me. Oh my god. You know, it'd be much easier to hit you if you were bigger. Yeah, I agree. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What in the world? <laughs> oh, that is so creepy. Cassie! Cassie, I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> That's a messed up looking dog. <laughs> dog. Freeze! 
SFPD! And I can't break through! Get her out of here! Come on. Sorry, sweetheart. You have to help daddy pay for his mistakes. You stay behind me. Bro, that is so creepy to say to a little girl. I have to shrink between the molecules to get in there. Oh, he's going quantum, isn't he? Oh my gosh. I love you, Cassie. He's not just the ant man. He's like, yeah, he's something more than that. Bro. Yes. He gets smaller than an ant, don't he? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, John. This is gonna be interesting though to see how they portray this. You would enter a reality. Become irrelevant. That's mind blowing. <laughs> that concept. Okay, I guess geometric patterns is that what's the base of reality? Oh, wow. Cassie. We better swim. Whoa. <laughs> All that happened right in front of her. Right in front of him, too. <laughs> Daddy! Dang, you just became stepdad again. <laughs> There's a big hole in the roof. <laughs> Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> that was so... <laughs> that was adorable. That little girl is so cute. Must be something else. Well, I suppose the human mind just can't comprehend the experience. But you went in got out. It's amazing. I'll walk you out. Get some rest. Is it possible? So he's thinking it's possible to go find his wife now, maybe. Yeah. For sure, but how would you even begin to find her? Awkward. <laughs> when did this happen? Nothing's happening. Something's kind of happening. Well, if that's <laughs> the case, uh, shoot me again. I don't know what you were doing grabbing and kissing me like that. I'm a little, a little surprised myself. I have to get somewhere. I'll see you later, Hank. <laughs> Scott, you're full of shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Scott, I met with my captain today. He wanted to report on the night that you got out of jail. Something happened with the cameras. And circuits got fried. And, but I told him that you were processed correctly. Really? Can't be sending Cassie's dad back to jail on a technical glitch, right? Thank you, Paxton. I'm blown away. Thank you for everything you do for Cassie. Oh, well. That's my pleasure. This one I, I did for you. This is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did my first cartwheel today. What? Yeah, she has been practicing all week, but today was well, the magic mom, day. I recorded it on my phone here. No, that can't be Cassie. Well, this is cute. This might get a little complicated, but it's cute. Yeah. What in the hell? You better put that thing outside. <laughs> Sorry, it's work. All right, just give me the facts. Just the facts. <laughs> so I'm at this art museum with my cousin. <laughs> I'm more like a Neil Cubis kind of guy, right? <laughs> Luis. And you know what? Uh, I just get excited and stuff. But anyway, anyway, and Ignacio tells me, yo, I met this crazy fine writer chick at the spot last night. Like, fine, fine. Like, crazy, stupid, fine. Bartenders are all like, yeah. <laughs> there he is, right yeah. there. Fine. He's saying crazy, stupid, fine. I'm like a boss in the world of guerrilla journalism, and I got mad connects with the peeps behind the curtains, you know what I'm saying? She's like, for real? And she's like, yeah. You know what? I can't tell you who my contact is because he works with the Avengers. Oh, no. Yeah, and this dude sounds like a badass, man. I'm looking for this dude who's new on the scene, who's like flashing this fresh tack, who's got like bomb moves, right? Who you got? She's like, well, we got everything nowadays. I'm looking for a guy that shrinks. <laughs> that he's looking for him? And? He said, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. There's something I want to show you. I realized you can't destroy power. All you can do is make sure that it's in the right hand. Oh, he done made her one? It's an advanced prototype that your mother and I worked on together. Oh. She never got to use it. We were working on it for you. That's so cute. Kind of sad, but cute. Yeah. Maybe it's time we finished it. <laughs> she's happy. I know. She's about to graduate <laughs> in my mind. I don't lie to me, Marvel. Y'all got some more. <laughs> Always. The tree that just keeps on giving, baby. Oh, yeah. 
Bucky. Whoa. This would have been a lot easier a week ago. We called Tony. No, he won't believe us. Even if he did. Who knows if the Accords will let him help. We're on our own. Maybe not. I know a guy. What? I'm not really sure what that's about, but apparently they need the Ant-Man, I guess. All right, guys, so that was Ant-Man. I guess the biggest point of this movie was to show that in this universe, you can shrink down to the quantum level, which I guess ultimately will contribute to the Avengers in some sort of way, assuming that he does join the Avengers. I gathered from the end of this movie that that's definitely where it's going, right? He's got contacts right. with the Avengers. Baby, what do you think about this movie? I thought it was great. I thought it was very different. I wasn't expecting this at all. Not at all. And, I mean, I heard he was Ant-Man, but I didn't think he would be like one with ants, I guess. I just thought he'd be small. Like yeah, me too. I, I didn't it, right? think like, he would use them to his advantage. It was, that was interesting. I didn't know we were basically about to watch like a whole documentary about the inner workings of what it's like to be an ant so yeah. it was a two-in-one movie i really appreciate that thank you guys uh learn more about ants and the different species of them thank mm -hmm. you but no man in all seriousness this was a really cool movie i had a lot of fun watching it like i always say man this is the origin story so these movies are sort of standalone movies um i did see in the end that bucky came back which was really weird apparently like they found him i guess I don't know, man. Something's going on with Bucky and they need Ant-Man for some reason. I don't know what that's about, man, but we're definitely going to find out. All right, guys. Well, I don't really know too much more I can say about this movie other than it was just a lot of fun. I guess I'd give it maybe like an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I had a lot of fun watching the film. Was it as good as other Marvel movies? No, but to be honest, some of these movies are borderline incredible. So there's a really high mark to beat. This one was definitely up there. I don't know that it's my favorite, but it's definitely another character that I'm glad that we have in the MCU. So it's been the Octobers. Like, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.